I'm Dan Willingham. I'm professor of psychology at the University of Virginia. My involvement in education research came as something of a surprise to me. I actually trained as a basic researcher of memory. Uh, I had no interest in classrooms really or teaching other than trying to make my own teaching good, but was not interested in the process of education. What happened was I was invited, this is about 10 years post-PhD when, again, I was just involved in basic research in human memory. About 10 years after I had been doing that, I was invited to give a talk at a national conference uh, of teachers. And the invitation really surprised me. And the person who invited me, I told them I don't know anything about classrooms or education. They said, no, that's fine. We get that. We know, we know what your background is. We want you to come in and talk about cognitive psychology. So I rashly said, OK, I'll do that, uh, and then forgot about it. And then six months or so passed. And then it was coming up to the time when I was going to have to go give this talk. Uh, and so about two weeks before, predictably, I thought, why in the world did I agree to give this talk? I don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, but I had I'd already agreed, so I had to I had to say something. So I basically picked a bunch of topics from the course that I had been teaching college sophomores for many years in basic cognitive psychology about attention and about memory and a little bit about reading and a few other topics that I thought would be of interest to teachers. But I was very very anxious about giving this talk because I thought everything I'm going to tell teachers uh, at this talk, I'm this supposed expert, they're going to know all this stuff. This is all going to be old news to them. I was very, very surprised after giving the talk when I found teachers actual, actually didn't know all this content. They were really interested. Uh, and that was career changing for me uh, because I was um, so surprised and, and honestly a little bit concerned that teachers didn't know the very basic stuff that psychologists have figured out about how children learn, how children read, how children uh, deploy attention, and so forth, I thought someone should really be uh, telling teachers about this. And so over the course of the next 15 years or so, that has become the primary focus of my work, is uh, trying to integrate what psychologists know about how children think, the emotional lives of children, what motivates children, uh, integrating that and communicating it to teachers in a way that makes sense to them and also in a way that will seem useful to them, of utility to them in the classroom. And so far I've found that work enormously satisfying and rewarding and in the near future at least that's what I'm going to continue to do.